Hi, welcome to the Andrew Buckle book review of Jasper Conran, The Collection. Now, this is London, 14th September 2021, obviously long gone now. So sadly, I can't go and uh, sort of bid for some of these wonderful items. I don't think I could have afforded any of them. But still, absolutely amazing. But I love these auction catalogues, these auction catalogues. Whenever I pick one up, always great to look through and great. Always nice to have a good nosy around a person's house and another sort of thing. Oh, you've got all the photos, etc. And you've got here viewings, etc. Auction, obviously, you've got all the details of all the people involved. And Jasper Conran, you've got the collection there. And wow, what a collection it is as well. I must admit, he's got no sort of Marvel comic stuff, or maybe he has, maybe he hasn't put that in there. Superman number one action comic, that would have been pretty impressive. However, he's obviously got slightly. Look at that, that's what you call, that's a nice looking house, isn't it? You could definitely have a good archive of uh, comic books there, can you? However, lots and lots of fine examples of brilliant paintings. And this is the thing I love about these sort of catalogs, especially when it's of a particular person, because of course they've got their own taste, their own thing. And they obviously have chosen lots of really unique items and also things that, unusual things like walnut chair, Apparently George II, walnut chair, no less. Looks very nice. Probably not very comfortable. I don't know. It might be very comfortable. Padded seat, arms come. Who knows? But some things I always think whenever I look at these things, I'm not certain the sort of thing you'd want in a normal house, would you? I mean, obviously you need a house to actually have those sort of things because that would just look plain daft in most people's houses, I'm certain. Probably be too big. You know, the walls would be crunched up against the wall. But some of these chairs are amazing. And I love looking at that. You, also, you've got it in, uh, obviously, context as well. So you can see the rooms with all the various items. Obviously, he was selling. Just crazy. Amazing. I mean, this sofa here, Victorian sofa. That's beautiful. Now you could sort of lounge on that and sort of write a, the odd novel, Victorian novel, couldn't you? I suppose. And these ones here are, uh, wow, um, easy armchairs. I don't know what this one is. I love all these ones as well. You can see all the paintings. And some of these paintings are actually in this as well some of them are absolutely glorious paintings and all, nothing better than the good old 17th well well it's one 17 and of course never can see the date 17 1710 1680 6, 1716 etc loads of great well lots and lots of these marble statues etc oh this one look at that just beautiful paintings of a family absolutely glorious now what one's that one 1697 1765 uh, it does give a little bit of detail. The Russell family were an upwardly mobile Basingstoke family living first at Bedford House before building a large house, etc, etc. So it gives a bit of background of these people as well. It's always fascinating. I love looking at these old paintings. You just look, you just think, what were these people like? I mean, they're obviously a completely different world. Completely different. They would probably be completely, utterly, wow, <laughs> that world. They're completely changed. But uh, still, you've got lovely uh, statues and things here. Obviously, some of these after antiques, etc. But you've got this one along. Oh, look at that. Just glorious. I don't know how much some of these went. They always they always put a price, of course, in it. 3000 to 5000 a, a frame. It's just a frame. Just a frame. Just that frame. Three it. 5000 Yeah. Buy 500 of them, obviously. No. <laughs> but I love the bookshelves. Can't be, that's what I would love. I'd go in there. I'd say I want all the bookshelves, not the, not the books. The books are probably okay. Actually, they've got some books in there. They've got a lovely selection of books, and I probably can't find it, but there's just a pile of these sort of review mag books from 17th or 18th century or something. You think, wow. Look at those beautiful rooms. I mean, you can imagine just sitting there and you sort of uh, reverse tea, etc., or coffee or whatever in the morning, couldn't you? Absolutely glorious. Oh, this one as well. Just beautiful. Just beautiful paintings. And again, you can just sort of match. And they often have a bit of a blurb as well. So you've got a lot, of, obviously, there, all the text about. So you can learn a little bit about the various people in the paintings, which is very useful. Because sometimes I don't know who they are. I don't know who they are. Robert Peake's portrait of Cecilia Neville. Now, I've heard of the Neville family. Neville family, very famous. And so it's uh, really nice and a lovely, uh, and also nice close-up as well. Real nice, high-quality close-up. And it's all the significance in these paintings as well. But often, nothing's probably done for, you know, chance. These are put in there just to show various things. Certain items are shown in the painting, going downwards or whatever, or she's holding something or touching something, just which means something to uh, the people. And it's just 
really quite informative with all the information that they they put about the I think just absolutely lovely and then you got so oh, look at that I mean that's a that's a bed isn't it that's a lovely lovely bed glorious and this one tables I'm not really too keen on those sort of tables mahogany large side table I'd always be worried about bashing my head but I know so they always look like look quite lethal sort of I know you wouldn't but I mean that's the sort of thing you whenever you see in dramas there's always that thing you think that character's gonna and they always end up knocking themselves unconscious on that sort of marble table and you think no don't have a marble table and they've all got marble tables they're marble tables everywhere and the thing is of course you drop anything on a marble table I imagine it's not going to be good it's uh Ah, oh, and look at that. Look at those. Oh, that, that's glorious, isn't it? Look at those pots and pans. Now, that's, that'd be something. How much do they go for? Um, oh, uh, 3,000 to 5,000. I don't know what they went for in the end. I mean, obviously, this is just a, an estimate. But wow. And even here, you've got... Uh, look at that. For a nice dresser. That's, now, that'd be a nice bookshelf as well, wouldn't it? I was thinking everything in terms of bookshelves and stuff. Terrible. But there's also more paintings. It's just loads and loads. Busts of... And, just absolutely, these books are brilliant. I, do, I genuinely love these books. You know, they're just, wow, a simple one. I, I would love to have, of course, gone to this sort of thing, but of course, why is time to just sit there and go, no, no, We've got this little box of matches, 4,000 pounds. Nope, don't think so. But wow, what a collect. I mean, that is just an amazing collection for a lifetime of, me, of just collecting brilliant, beautiful works of art I just you just have to say that is a lovely lovely selection of things uh, wow I just I love these books absolutely great and uh, well totally recommend you checking these out so if you can go and find a Christie's catalogue of course it's a Christie's Sotheby's and all, of course others as well they're always fascinating